calories per day a little bit later on in our broadcast and how John Jansen might have been affected by something like that. Here's the first play of the spring game. Denard Robinson slinging in on a quick slam to Jeremy Gallon on a over 1,300 a year ago. Now he will roll and throw on the run for a first down completion to Roy Roundtree. Roundtree now, but those depth charts can always change. After a six and seven yard completion, Tucson right up the belly on the other side of the 50. Al Borges says he's a more complete blocker and receiver. He's had an outstanding spring. Good job by the defensive line on that rushing attempt. We talked about tweeting earlier. I know who tweets. We're raising money for charity. We're displaying for the first time kind of what our Team 133 is going to look like. And uh, even though the weather forecast. You can get involved at home by texting Mod at 5055 to get $5 and help the kids. Robinson will throw. Pressure comes from behind, and it's batted down at the line of scrimmage. About the guy, John Jansen, who's a freshman from Arlington, Texas. Stands 6'3", about a buck 90. Throws on the run and falling. When you see some guys graduate like Odoms and Hemingway on the ground up the middle, and this is the area that a lot of people are really high and white, a team high 94 tackles a year ago. Bellamy wants to throw, dumps it underneath, and it's caught by Vincent Smith against Air Force on September 8th in the first home game. Smith tried to tuck it inside, got past the 45 to about the 47 or so. Out of the shotgun, Russell Bellamy. He'll throw it. And a completion to Joe Carriage. He's the redshirt friends. Well, quarterback feeler past the 40 and lunging to about the talk a little bit about the redshirt junior from Inkster in a moment. Nice pass and catch at the 30 yard line by Gerald Roberts. Five yards pitch and catch. Play action and pressure coming. Bellamy works his way around it and completes the pass. I thought he was good guys in practice. Coaches off the times. Juicy second down and short. Walls gets the hand off of the that's Thomas Roll. Bruges, you got to have depth at the running back position to have a consistent run game. Rawls did a nice job reversing his direction. Fourth and short. Rawls got the first down and broke the tackle for a blue score. Just what we were talking about. Yards after contact. Yeah, and that's that downhill mentality that, that Thomas Roll. Center. And play action and pressure. And Tuck gives us a little bit more of a faster and athletic player, according to Brady Hill and Greg Madison. This one's picked off at the 35-yard line. An interception by Blake Countess. Didn't have any last year as a boost who produced. They would play. It's up to them. That's Justice Hayes on the Inside handoff to the fourth running back we've seen today to the University of Michigan. Bellamy wants to take it himself and uh, bump just shy of the 30-yard line. Brandon Hoff. Bellamy with a good pocket throws underneath. It's caught by Hayes. Wrestled out handed. Jared Flanda, the long snapper. The kick is up and it's through. Good leg. Great legs to be able to run around. And he's running right now. Nice cut up. See where they mark him out. A mindset. They give him a, a couple. Garner with an inside give here. Breaking a tackle and just past the first team offensive line. Good play action and a nice pocket. He's got all day. He short hopped it into Drew Dillio. Blitz coming. They pick it up nicely. Rowe chasing Gardner from behind. Gardner will run for it. He looks really natural with that position. Gardner with pressure coming from behind. Dumps it underneath and nearly picked up. Gerald Robinson to the right. This is Rawls again. And that hole closed quickly. And motion in a bunch formation to the left of Bellamy. Looks to the right and over. Gardner with Tucson and taking the handoff. Hand Good battle going on up front. Keep your eyes on Taylor Lewan, the six foot eight, three hundred and two pound redshirt junior. Mean streak in. Of course, he wears my partner's old jersey, seventy seven. Gardner steps up. He's got some running room. 
and will break to the outside, yet to be touched down the sideline. And out of bounds near an offensive line that surrendered only 18 sacks. That's pretty good. Gardner stands tall and throws incomplete. How about that coverage? Gardner. Yet to lead his team on a touchdown drive. And an inside give and a little shake to sneak inside. Guards, first and ten. Gardner wants to throw for it. Strong arm. Gallon makes a nice adjustment and breaks the tackle. And spun around at the ten. Touchdown wise in the red zone was at about 65%. Vincent Smith had nowhere to go. And white jerseys, second and goal for Gardner. Blitz comes. And I think he got touched before he got rid of it. It's to his right. Good time. I still downfield. Now he'll run for it, but won't get it. Old Brendan Gibbons, the left footed kicker, on for the field goal. And he missed it. So back for Russell Bellamy, who's done a nice job as the backup and throws a quick slant down at one. Jack Miller, the center, will be on the ground and inside. Love to see the play action, and they do. And he throws it in fourth down, where they were 58% conversion success rate a year ago, but they won't get it here. Not a Second down and 10 for Devin Gardner, yet to lead his team on a touchdown drive. Wiggles his way close to the 40. Down, and about three. All kinds of time, and he'll throw it underneath. Good check down for Devin Gardner to Vincent Smith to pick up yourself on who was in and who was out. Eastern Michigan, a club that had a surprise max finish at six and six, didn't get to. Gardner wants to throw. Pressure from the edge, weaves his way, and picks up another first down. Wangler was earlier. Quick slant to Gallon, and it's stripped free from JT Floyd, one of the. First and goal on the ground. Rawls stuck. John Jansen was talking about. He was in on that tackle right there. Linebacker, really strong high school player. And Michigan was happy to get. Rawls runs and is he down. And a give to Smith. Nothing doing. The double tight end set remains out there. Smith up the middle and stuffed again. Brandon up the wide to the right in a double tight end set. Bellamy will give it to Rawls and he will stretch out but come up shot in the deep end. Bellamy goes up the center. Play action. He's going to roll with it. He's going to tuck it and he won't get it. And I think that's all that they needed to accomplish. That's all they wanted to see. Team 133 has their spring game underneath their belt. We'll get some thoughts from players and coaches when we come back to the big house on BTN.